Okay, we're configuring the JASM OpenStreetMap editor for use with the GNS name import. So we, the part that we need to do now is we need to configure the imagery URLs. And it's not so much imagery as much as it is maps. But we're going to go through this process of adding imagery URLs. And it's pretty straightforward. You've probably done it before, but we'll just cover it so you know how to do it. And probably the easiest way to get there is, well, let's take a look at the tasks first. So we're going to look at this GNS import for Sierra Leone. You probably have seen imagery here before, and this one isn't listed here. But if you read through the instructions, you will see that there's imagery listed down here. And it gives you one, two, three, three maps. This is maps. These are topographic maps. And they also suggest that you use some Landsat 8 imagery, which I also always use. So we're going to go through and we're going to put in the Landsat 8 imagery, and we're going to put in all of the map imagery. And I'm a little bit picky about the way that I place it, because how they get layered when we load up the layers makes a difference. I, I think it makes a difference to the process. So. I'm going to show you the way that I add these things in. And I've already caught, you can copy these things directly out of here. You can highlight them. And you can do Control C, or you can right click on it, and you can select copy. I generally don't copy this part here. This just tells me that it's a TMS layer as opposed to a WMS layer. Um, these are all TMS layers. So when we put them in JASM, we'll be making sure that we specify we're putting in. TMS URLs. And then this number here is the zoom level, which I also do not make much use of. I don't want a maximum zoom level. I want to be able to zoom in as much as I want. And, you know, if I can use it and it's super blurry, well, that's fine. I don't, I don't really need an artificial limit on how far I zoom in. So I never copy those. I only copy the HTTP part when I'm getting ready to do the copy and paste. So I don't highlight that first part. I just highlight the HTTP and not the colon like I did in that example. But here I have the list of the ones that I'm going to put in. These are the Landsats. These are the topographical maps that they suggest you use. And these are the URLs for them. So in JASM, probably the easiest way to do it is go to Imagery, Imagery Preferences. And you can see these are all the ones that you have preset and available and you can easily move them down into this list. So you should already have Bing satellite and you should have Mapbox satellite moved from this list up here down into your active list. But we're going to go ahead and add some more and you can see I have a few more in here. But we're putting in TMS URLs so you click on the plus for TMS and the first one that I'm going to put in is the Landsat 8 normal color. And again, I just highlight the HTTP part and I copy it. And I come over here and I choose paste. And it asks for the maximum zoom, which I'm not going to enter. And it wants me to name this layer. And this is where I name my layers starting with a number. If you do a lot of these, you'll load them so often, it'll be very convenient if they're numbered in the beginning. So this one is going to be my third layer. So I'm going to name it 03 Landsat 8 Normal Color. And when you put these in, they come in at the bottom, but they'll sort properly by this name the next time you use them, the next time you open up this panel or the next time you use them in the imagery menu. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to do the next one is Landsat 8 false color. And again, I just highlight the URL, copy, and I say plus a TMS URL. And I paste it in. And then I come down here and I name it 
zero four Landsat eight false color. Okay, this US Army JOG map, this is the most accurate map you're going to have access to. So we'll go ahead and copy the URL for that. And we'll say add a TMS. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And I'm going to name this one 05 US Army JOG. And again, these numbers that I'm numbering them might seem random, but they're not. I purposely want Landsat 8 normal, and then the false color, and then the JOG. I want them to sort of come in in that order, because that's the order I'm going to load them when I actually start doing the merging. So I'll come back over here. I want to do the sixth one, which is U.S. Army AMS 1955. I'm going to highlight the URL. TMS, paste it in, and we call it this one 06 U.S. Army AMS 1955. AMS 1955. And then here's the 1942. This one just happens to be of Sierra Leone, so. But it's 07, 1942, so plus TMS, paste that in, and I call this one U.S. Army AMS 1942, and this one is only for Sierra Leone. So that's it. I've got this in the list, and when I say OK, now all of these that I just added are going to show up here in my list. Landsat Normal, False Color, JOG, AMS. And for some odd reason, oh, this one I didn't put my 07 in front of, so it's sorted to the bottom. Not a problem. We'll go back up to Imagery Preferences, find my U.S. Army one, click a couple times till you get the cursor in there, and put in the 07 so it sorts right for me. And now if I come up to the Imagery menu, now there it is. There's the 07. And this is the order I'm going to load them. Bing, Mapbox, Landsat Normal, Landsat False. Army JOG, AMS 1955, and the AMS 1942, when we actually open up a, a thing and get to it. So that is, what else do we have left to do here? That was adding the imagery, oh, changing the keyboard shortcuts. Well, we'll be back in a second, and I'll show you how to change the keyboard shortcuts.